Hi friends, my name is Bara and as a circus student I do some form of physical training almost every day of the week. In today's video I want to talk about supplements that have helped me keep that up over the last few years, namely creatine. Circus artists do a lot of physical training. As a professional you might be in two shows per day while trying to keep up with general conditioning and learning new skills. Even as a circus student, most people have more than one discipline, so keeping up with their technique as well as learning new skills takes several hours each day. Some days might be more intense than others, but from your normal gym goer's point of view, none of this can be described as an optimal training schedule in terms of recovery time. When I first started Ariel, I would take one and later two classes per week, which is more similar to a regular person's gym routine so I wasn't too worried about my diet or taking any supplements. During this time though, I also decided to get my first pull-up, so I went to the gym after aerial class and followed a lot of calisthenics content. It was through the calisthenics and strength training communities that I learned about creatine. Creatine is the safest and most well-researched supplement. It is a chemical naturally found in the human body which helps your muscles produce energy. It is found in red meat and seafood and when taken as a supplement it increases muscle mass, enhances strength and improves athletic performance. Because dietarily it is mostly found in meat, vegetarians benefit from supplementing it. I am not fully vegetarian but I don't eat a lot of red meat which might be another reason creatine supplements work for me. Chemically speaking, creatine is similar to amino acids which are compounds the body uses to build protein. The body produces creatine in the liver from amino acids. When you supplement with creatine, it increases your muscle stores of phosphocreatine. This helps your body produce more adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, which is like the energy currency for your muscles, resulting in improved performance in high-intensity exercise. Creatine also alters several cellular processes that leads to increased muscle mass, strength and recovery. When I first found out about creatine through the calisthenics and strength training content I was following, people mostly seemed to take it to increase hypertrophy or muscle mass. I didn't really want that and saw creatine as a gym bro supplement so I dismissed it at the time. About a year later I had access to aerial open training and also started teaching which meant that some weeks I was training 5-6 to six days a week. I was still trying to go to the gym at that time, although I later dropped that because I couldn't keep it all up from a time management perspective. With that amount of training, I was sore and exhausted a lot, but then I heard somewhere that creatine is also supposed to be good for muscle recovery. I did some research around the effects it has on your muscles and decided to give it a try. The cheapest, most researched and commonly available supplement is called creatine monohydrate, which is just powder you dissolve in water and drink. When I looked into it, a lot of people would start with a loading phase where you take 5 grams 4 times a day for about a week and then lower the dosage to 3 to 5 grams per day. This fills up your muscle stores of creatine, which means you see results faster. I wasn't too bothered about hypertrophy and was still on the fence about using creatine, so I wasn't in a rush and went with the slower method of just taking 3 to 5 grams per day. This just means it might take up to 4 weeks to see results. I didn't really monitor anything and didn't see a huge increase in muscle mass, which was good because I didn't want to turn into a bodybuilder. Gradually though, I noticed that I could do a lot more aerial training without getting sore and tired, so I kept taking my dose of creatine every day. I had only bought one pack online in a Black Friday sale and didn't care too much about taking it long term. So when it ran out, I said I would just wait for the next Black Friday. But then I was rehearsing a pretty intense rope act for an ensemble circus show while working working a full-time job, teaching and training in the evenings and I got so sore and tired from it all. So it was only once I stopped taking creatine that I realized the benefits it had brought me. So I got desperate and bought some more in Holland and Barrett, a health food store here in the UK. When I started taking it again, I felt like I could do so much more training without getting sore and I could actually get through the crazy rope act I choreographed for myself. I stocked up well in the last Black Friday sale, so hopefully that will get me through the year until the next one. Some people think that high doses of creatine can be bad for your kidneys, 
which is not scientifically proven as far as I know. Some days I forget to take it as well, so I'm definitely not overdoing it with the dosage. But I do believe that the general increased levels of creatine is what allows me to do physical training most days of the week. I don't think that taking a bunch of supplements will save your training or replace a balanced diet, but I do think there is some benefit to finding the right one that works for you. I have also experimented with a few other supplements like multivitamins, omega-3s and collagen. While there is probably some benefit to my daily life and balancing out any deficiencies in my diet, creatine is the one I've seen most impact with, mainly for recovery. I have also heard good things about BCAAs, or branched chain amino acids, which are supposed to have similar benefits to creatine. I would like to experiment with those at some point. I've got a powdered version now, which is a combination of BCAAs and pre-workout. I don't think I need pre-workout, which is basically an energy drink, on a daily basis, so I don't know how much I'll be able to evaluate the benefits. That's all from me today, see you in the next video, bye bye!